I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our daily meditation today, let's turn to Luke chapter 23, verses 42 and 43. And He said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Worldly I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Past days we were looking at the first words of Jesus, his prayer to the Father. Now today we focus our attention to the next sentence that he speaks. And this is a talk between him and the thief hanging with him on the cross. The scripture reveals that there were two thieves amongst whom our Lord was crucified. When the thief was saved, Lord Jesus was at his lowest. I hope you understand. Stripped of his garments, completely naked, nailed to the cross, being mocked by the crowd, and in great agony. There's no glory visible anywhere. He was numbered with the transgressors. The offscoring of all things. And in that condition, we see how he achieved this marvelous deed of grace. If the Lord could do so much when he was at his lowest, how much more, dear brother and sister, he can do for us when he sits on the right hand of the Father in glory. He is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Now, when, let us look at the scene from the eyes of the thief. What is he seeing before himself? If we put ourselves in his place, would we ever believe in the Lord of glory that the same person hanging on the cross will come back in his glory into his kingdom? Will we accept him at that point? There are many people who say that I don't need to get baptized because the thief was not baptized. But a question, will we accept the Lord if we were in that place? We see the Lord in his lowest point. The thief's faith was far more remarkable as he himself was in great agony and he was about to die. But in spite of all of that, he believed. He himself is surrounded by those mocking him, those mocking the Lord. He could see the Pharisees and others standing there and mocking. It's easy to go with the flow with the stream. But it is very hard to go against the current. When everyone is mocking Christ, will you believe in Christ? This thief's faith was not affected by the surroundings. While the other thief was mocking, he rebuked that thief and himself believed. Remember, he was the last companion of the Lord. When our Lord departs, he chose that thief to be the last companion. Another thing that we need to understand that he, he, this thief is not an ordinary sinner. He has even broken the laws of man. He was a sinner in misery and he was 
enduring or he was going through the rewards of his own deeds and his end was very near very soon his legs will be broken he and he had a very short time before him a time between noon and sundown a very limited time before him dear friends do you value the time that you have before us for the thief that time was very short but that is long enough for the savior this thief he could do no good works at this moment if salvation is by good works then this thief is lost forever but in the midst of all of that look at his prayer with that confidence he is not asking anything else he is asking just one thing remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom nothing else we remember joseph he too prayed a prayer to the butler when you are restored remember me but that butler forgot but our good joseph he will not forget look at that sincere prayer a lord he died before the thief died but look at the words of our master worldly i say unto thee today shall thou be with me in paradise those few words with the dignity of the king of kings he speaks as he has all authority over everything a lord is not saying i'll pray to the father i'll beseech for you i'll mediate for you i'll intercede for you he is not being told that you will spend time in purgatory for some time i can't give you hope you have broken the laws of man but look at how gracious our lord is in the midst of all that agony let's look at our lord those powerful words in the midst of that agony today shall thou be with me in paradise not tomorrow but today dear friend do you realize how much the lamb of god values us he is paying the price as man but on the other side he is the king of kings the lord of lords the one who holds the keys to death and to hell will you get, grab the opportunity that you have before you heaven is not lo- asking for some good works look at that sincere prayer of the thief and he was there in paradise that very day heaven is not asking for anything else from us but a sincere desire let's close our eyes and let us pray father we thank you and praise you for this beautiful time thank you for speaking to each one of us lord we pray that you may open our eyes to know you let not our surroundings affect our faith if there is anyone who has not realized who you are we pray that you may open their eyes and they may grab the opportunity before it's too late may your name be glorified in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless you our lord is coming very soon maranatha